What is going on guys and welcome to another episode of Coffee Break. Uh, today's going to be an interesting one, so bear with me. It was uh, it was pretty bad. Um, I almost died today, but I didn't. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Being, being alive and being thankful. So let me just get into this real quick, right? Um, I was on the road and I'm coming out of a mall. For those of you who know, sometimes once in a while I'm, I'm, I do Uber and I do it locally in my, in, in, my, uh, in my area where I live, the state of Connecticut. And um, I use it as a networking tool for my coffee business, for for all my other things that I have on the side. It's a really good uh, networking strategy that I use. Um, but today was a little bit different because I was coming out of the mall from dropping someone off. And if anyone knows Trumbull Mall out here in Connecticut, when you exit the mall, there's uh, two lanes that you can actually make a left on. So the light was red for me. I was at the red light. This other car comes to the right of me and stops as well. Um, while I'm looking around, you know, I'm listening to, to music. I have, um, I'm talking to my brother on the phone at that time. And um, it's coming out through the speakerphone. And we're just chatting and I'm looking around. And the light turns green. And right when the light turned green, I kind of like hesitated to hit the acceleration a little bit because I'm always looking at my left and my right and and I looked to the left and I stopped immediately because there was this like Nissan Rogue little SUV was coming super fast so I broke really hard and it was like a hair away from my front end of the vehicle and it just went right through me it, it went right by me the car next to me ended up accelerating when the light turned green so when that car accelerated it was a head on like a side collision from the front of that vehicle to literally the driver's side of the car to the right of me not only did he hit that car to the right of me i guess maybe the reaction was to keep holding on the acceleration and he just crushed another vehicle that was on the opposite side on the, at, a, at the red light. So we're looking at about four cars collision. It was bad, real bad. The person next to me got it really bad. I, I, don't, I don't know if it's on the news or whatever, but it was, he was coming hot. And I just broke. I saw it right before my eyes, just like kind of go right by me so close and then next thing you know it's just he's he hits the side of of that vehicle to the right of me at the stop sign there was a, another car coming i guess um at, at the stoplight there was another car coming he crushed into that car and hit the uh the other one at the red light as well so it was like and he just it was just a mess a mess a mess i look in my my mirrors i look all around at this point because i'm checking out the act you know the, the accident I look in my rear view mirror and there's a police officer behind me. So that police officer just, you know, went out and went to go uh, uh, assess the, the situation. You know, I pulled over. I got out the car. I looked at the front, you know, I looked just in case if he maybe like swiped it somehow. And no damage, no damage to me. Thank God, no damage to the, to the car. Um, I pray that everyone is well, you know, that, that there was no casualties. I'm, I, I really hope not because I know this was a, a bad accident. And it was like kind of like right, boom, the side. He came in, that person drove, and he hit him right at the door of the driver's side. So I stop and I look back and I'm like, wow, you know, um, how I was protected, how I was covered, and something just reminded me again of, of, of how grateful I am 
um, not only to be alive, but to also be aware of my friends, family that are alive, how much I love them, right? How much I care for them, how, you know, in every moment, then not just now, but every moment that I get to appreciate somebody or every time I, I get a moment that I'm thinking about somebody, I make sure to reach out to them. Hey, listen, how you doing? I'm just checking in on you. Just wanted to say, what's up? I love you or whatever, you know, because you never know when it's going to be your moment. You never know when that time is going to come where you're no longer going to be here. And, and that's a serious thing. And if, first of all, if you don't have God first in your life, if you're not walking in, in according to, to his word and, and, and just being thankful every day for the life that you have, that we take advantage of almost like every single day, um, I could have lost my life today, right? That, that car was coming straight for me. And thank God that, you know, I was able to stop and the Lord was protecting me and, and covering me. And like I said, I hope that the Lord is protecting, you know, those, you know, those drivers as well. Um, but, you know, be thankful, right? We gotta be thankful for the life that we have that is so precious that we always take advantage of it because we're, we're too petty with a lot of, you know, different things. You know, on Monday was Martin Luther King's, you know, day right it was just it was a uh, uh, everybody had off you know this guy fought for 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 the right you know what i mean for the right thing he was assassinated i'm pretty sure there was a lot of people who who honored him but there was a lot of people who who hated him you know what i'm saying who who disliked him and you know people come and go and at least for me, I want to make sure that the people that are in my life, right? Like in the time of Martin Luther King and when he had a message and he was just delivering, like, you know, a, a lot of people were for him, you know, and I'm pretty sure they honored him while he was alive. But I'm pretty sure there's a whole bunch of other people that really didn't honor him while, while he was alive and they want to do it after the fact, you know, I don't want to be that type of person, you know. I want to honor people and respect people while they're alive. I want to appreciate you while you're alive. All the people that subscribe to the channel, all the people that comment, all the people that, that, that support and show love to me in this channel, I appreciate you. I sincerely do. I appreciate you. I thank you for, for sharing the, 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 the videos and all that stuff. You know what I mean? Like it's not, there, there's not one thing that, that I totally disregard. Uh, when it comes into to my business my, my, my channel and all this other stuff and I always like to to make sure that I'm doing a video that's gonna in, empower and uplift and, and kind of like change your perspective a little bit or give you some insight on something um, and that's what I think this video today this coffee break is about um, giving you a perspective today of like you know you're here today but tomorrow you might not be I might not be. T today could have been the day that I would disappear from the face of the earth. But it reminds me while I'm alive and I got another opportunity to be thankful to God for saving me, for covering me, for protecting me and my home. Uh, because I know there's, there's so much work to be done, right? While we're alive and we're focused on so many other little things that that it can happen in an instant this accident happened so fast and there were so many people involved in this thing in this like accident and i've seen a lot of stuff even growing up and it just reminds me over and over and over again of how thankful i am and how appreciative i am to the people that that surround me my wife my kids my nephews my, my sister my parents you know my, my church family and above all things, how good God is. And if you don't know where you're going when death comes knocking on your door, I think it's a good moment to really kind of like, you know, open your eyes to, to, to that fact that, you know, 
tomorrow's not promised to us. You know, the Bible clearly states tomorrow is not promised to us. So if there's anything you're going to get from this coffee break today is be thankful. Reach out to the people probably you haven't reached out in a while and let them know that you love them. You were just thinking about them. Tell your mom, tell your brother, your father, your, whoever it is. Let them know why they're alive, how appreciative you are to them. Don't keep it inside. Don't wait for a tragedy to happen, an accident to happen, for then you to be like, wow, you know, he was a good person. I loved him, whatever, but I didn't, you know, I didn't get to tell him. Tell them now. Let them know now that you appreciate them, you know? And I just wanted to share this video because, oh, man. Because it's a serious thing. And, and today was just another uh, uh, sign of grace, you know, that the Lord gives us. And, and I'm so thankful for, all, for everyone who knows me and surrounds me. Um, I'm always thankful, always thankful, always thankful. And, and today was just another highlight of those moments where it's like, wow. I was this close to just getting clipped and I, it could have been it for me. At the, at the speed this guy was coming at and, and I kind of like would have, yeah, you get what I'm trying to say. So I wanted to share that with you guys today. Um, you know, we're starting the year January, you know, make sure you're starting it strong. Make sure you're so starting it solid. Make, make sure you're starting it, you know, with a, with a good mindset. And just do the right thing, man. Do the right thing. Trust God. Follow God. Seek Him. Because the Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and everything else will be added, man. The, the, um, it's not coming from me. This is, this is word, you know. So I just want to share this with you guys. I wanted to share this, this, this story with you guys and, um, um, and, and just remind you, you know, life is very, very precious. Don't uh, take it for granted. And don't stay stuck on these small little petty things, you know, with people. Just let it go, you know what I mean? Forgive, love, and, and, and let's just work together so we can continue to be uh, effective people, not only to our families, but to our communities and the people that surround us. Amen to that. Uh, put an amen in the comments. Put some comments uh, uh, in the comment section there. Um, you know, let's, let's dialogue about this one. And, um, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon so you can be notified on, on videos just like this one. And so more people can hear this message as well. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for, for, for joining. Thank you for those who have been following me and, and on the channel and, and are constantly uh, uh, checking out the, the videos. I appreciate you. And, um, yeah, God bless you guys. Thank you for joining me on another coffee break. Uh, you already know we got that sponsor up in this piece. Great coffee. Uh, providing great coffee. And uh, we'll just see you in the next one. All right? God bless you guys.